Hey everyone, Safe Locked here, Safe at Home, on behalf of the League team. Today, we want to share with you some of our upcoming plans to League. But before we get into it, I want to make a note on the commitments and timelines we'll be sharing with you today. Due to the current state of the world, we're starting to learn day by day what the full impact on our teams globally looks like. Our existing content plans may honestly change. That being said, we're feeling pretty good to share these updates today, and we'll keep talking to you so you know what's up. Appreciate your understanding during this time. Now let's jump into it. The preseason changes have settled, and overall, we're pretty happy with the game-to-game -game freshness that Rise of the Elements is bringing. Since then, we've been recently focusing on top and jungle to make these positions more satisfying and impactful. We buffed fighter items to help top laners scale better into late game. We also changed turret defenses to reward early pressure in top and steepen the trade-off for big dive spot. So far, we've seen top laners getting more gold, more kills, and just dealing more damage late game. We're also seeing first blood come from top lane more often. So overall, we're feeling these changes are hitting the mark. As for jungle, our preseason nerves to jungle camp experience left junglers under leveled. We gave some of that experience back and jungler levels are now more in line with what we originally intended. We also spent a few patches helping ease more new and lower tier players into jungle by making some of the most popular champs at these skill levels into viable, though not dominant, junglers. And since then, we've seen the jungle selection rate increase to much healthier numbers for the role. After years of waning, Clash has finally launched and your turnout has been more than we could have hoped for. We've broken login records in multiple regions. That said, we're still working to optimize matchmaking, streamline queue times, and stomp out edge case bugs. We're also exploring improvements based on the feedback we've heard so far. So keep letting us know how things are going. We've also been working on improvements to ranked. We shipped autofill and duo parity, dramatically decreasing cases where one team has more autofill players or pre-made teammates without increasing queue times. We're going to continue making ranked improvements throughout the season. And while it's a ways away, this preseason, we'll be addressing long-standing frustrations with the system, like promo series, rank versus MMR clarity, and reward satisfaction. We'll keep you updated as we go, so expect to hear more from us soon. Following our recent update to Fiddlesticks will be the Volibear update coming next month. As a reminder, these two champs won last year's Choose a VGU vote and we hope they live up to your expectations. After Volibear, we'll be focusing on new champions for the remainder of the year. And that'll include the whimsical new jungler we announced in January and the masked Mila Carey, who refuses to die. We also wanna let you know that we're still figuring out exactly what our champion schedule looks like for the rest of 2020. Avoiding health risks is a top priority, and we don't want to endanger the safety of folks like VO actors and external QA partners across the world. This means we have new production constraints to work within, and we're still trying to figure out what the impact will be. If our roadmap changes, there's a chance some of this year's champion releases might end up more condensed than usual, but our goal is still to release all of the champs we have planned. Either way, we're still super excited for you to see what's to come. At the start of the year, we committed to improving events by adding more variety to our missions, improving the event pass system, and adding a featured game mode for every major event. So far, we've seen the return of AR Earth with Mecha Kingdoms and One for All during the Galaxies event. Looking forward, our next major event was planned around MSI. And although plans for MSI have changed, we're still planning to release some of the things we have planned for May, including the Fun Plus Phoenix skins to celebrate their victory in the 2019 World Championship. There will also still be an in-game event, which we pivoted to focus on Pulsefire and will feature Pickerf as the game mode. Later this year, we'll have more details to share about some of the larger changes we have planned for the event pass system as a whole. And we have one more announcement. At the end of the summer, we're finally going to be bringing back Nexus Blitz as the limited time game mode for our upcoming summer festival. This year, we promised you we'd make more skins for champions who hadn't gotten them in a while. And so far, we've released skins for seven of the 16 named champs in our season start video. We also heard many other mains of underserved champs asking if they get a skin too. 
The list we gave at season's start was not comprehensive, so don't take the absence of your main's name to mean you definitely won't get a skin. Olaf, Zyra, and Renekton weren't on the list, and we hope to surprise you with more as time passes. We hope this year's focus on underserved champs feels good for mains who haven't seen a skin in a while. And since Elderwood Orin and Darkstar Mordekaiser's previews got such good reception last time, we'd like to introduce you to Astronaut Bard and Pull Party Talia. One more thing before I go. We've loved watching all of the wild moments you've had in TFT Galaxies, on the phone and on PC. And this summer, we'll be releasing a mid-set expansion, which will include brand new galaxies, new champions, and little legends. You can expect to hear more about our plans from the TFT team next month. From all of us on League, thank you for playing. Stay safe and take care.